So we have to shift from a dominant way of attending, which has come too much really, and mm -hmm. loosen or reconnect. And that shift, I, I talk about at three levels really. The first level at the, the mind, the cognitive level, that is where we map out the interconnections uh, with inside our team dynamics, our organizational dynamics, our business ecosystem. And then the second part is a, a more embodied aspect, and that's what I call systemic awareness. And that's where we really sense into the system, the inner, mm -hmm. the outer aspects of the system, not just outer projection of the mind maps, but actually sensing that inner aspect, the implicit, the psychological, the stuckness, the flows, the acupuncture points. The third aspect is often overlooked, and that really is the tap root that holds um, the, the logic of life, is the ecosystemic, which is a sort of shift from a ego, small ego self, to actually our ego permeating with a deeper sense of interconnectedness with how life really is. So we shift right. from yesterday's logic, the logic of neo-Darwinism and anthropocentric perspective, where we see mm -hmm. humanity as separate from nature. So yeah. opening up at the ecosystemic level is a deep sense of interconnectedness with life. Um, yeah. An embodied shift, what Claire Graves and other adult developmental psychologists have referred to as tier two awareness, you know, where we're actually tuning into life. It's an existential shift. And all of those three levels, um, at the head level, there's systems thinking, uh, more embodied systemic awareness, and then opening up to life at the ecosystemic level are key. So that's the first condition that we need as leaders ourselves to be able to then sense into the organization as a living, vibrant, future fit organization.